Hey everybody, Ormac here for Avernum 3. When we left off, I was about to leave, but now I'm going backwards, back into the past. Time travel. Wait, no, not quite. But we are going to go do things that I couldn't figure out. Not without assistance from viewers like you. For one, we're going to find that dang statue. And uh, to do that, we got to find the wolf pit, which we passed through once already. Where the gob the chief was. Goblins and bandits, and I think I'm on the track of the bandits. Or the goblins. This is the goblin area, that's right. And here's the way down. Yep. And somewhere in the northeast is where the statue is supposed to be. Probably in this box here. Aha. Uh. <laughs> At least you think it's female. I have no idea. Thank you, Patrell. Also, I know where the identifier is. And also, I missed a lot of quests, but I feel like I need to go faster because it's, you know, the, the time limit. Whatever. Oh no, slight discomfort. Actually, it almost it half killed Sorry, so... A bit worse than slight discomfort, but we'll live. at a remarkable pace out here. Yeah. Okay. I leveled up. Don't you carefully approach the glowing water. As you do, lights rise up off the water and form into some sort of shape. The shape is humanoid, but it's so faint and unstable you can't make out the species. It's formed its beaks. I tell you I know of you. I send warning. You are sent but it is futile. Others are ahead of you to destroy. But I can give you this gift and hope for you. Shade waves its hand, you feel an odd tingling feeling, and then it disappears. Well, we all leveled up. Fancy schmancy. Well, Samson leveled up. It was a hundred experience worth of tingling. I mean, I, w I wish I could get a hundred experience worth of tingling all the time. That's pretty impressive, all things considered. This way. There it is. Hello. I believe it's not you. It's not you. Hey. I believe we found your crystal thing. It looks pleased. Again, humans correct the wrongs of humans. As a and in reward, this is, produces a beautiful carved pink crystal. It is a soul crystal, using for certain magical spells. And it is yours! He gives it to you. Thank you for returning my statue. I am thinking I mistrust humans less. Yay. Now I have that. I think the adult out here can teach me? Somebody here can teach me. Yes, teach the mage. Which one's the mage? Are you the mage? You are the mage. Samson. Samson needs to learn these spells. Oh man, I am poor. I didn't even realize how poor I was. I have a lot of stuff to sell, though. Also, he... Hi? I already talked to you guys. You're just wandering greeting group. Rats. I was wondering what 
that was. Yeah, yeah, I freaking suicidal rats. I know. <laughs> You're dead. Now there should be a store where I can sell crap here. Like this book. You, do you buy things? You do not. Then you are worthless to me. Good day. I will not obey the law and you can't make me. You buy things. Sort of. Buy that. <laughs> it's worth one. Man, I am so freaking poor. It is amazing. Get rid of that, too. I could afford the level one Simar... 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 Looks like it's not limited in how many items you can buy back, either. But I'm like, oh man, I need incense! It's right there. Get rid of that scroll, too. And Veldin is our apothecary, so we should pass these on him. Now we're going to the portal place. So we can get this stuff identified with the money I just got. And also, there are more... I wasn't going for it, but thanks. There's some cave cows. Oh, right, that's a dead end. Darn. I know, thank you. I hadn't expected it to refill that fast. Hey, lizards. are not moving. See, at the base of Cave Wall, a large group of giant lizards. They are clustered around the ruins of a merchant's cart, and they still wear the shredded remains of other harnesses. It's a common story. Merchant loses control of his beast. They do are irascible creatures? Hard to control. And then they fled to here, dragging the cart along with them. Their claws, once trimmed, have grown back. They look angry and hungry. If you stay near them, they could attack at any minute. Uh... Might as well. You guys are out of control. Out of control. So the lizards are dead, you search the cart. Much of the goods inside must have been scattered as they fled. And they ate any food that was inside. You do ever find a pouch of coins and a variety of missile weapons. We got uh, arrows, bolt, steel bolts, and steel javelins. Iron arrows, though. What are you using? You're using the bow. Crossbow is tempting. I wonder if it has a reload period. Anyway, apparently the identifier here is... Wanders around the northern part of Fort Emergence. Okay, so he's somewhere in this region, I would guess, in this building. Do you identify? You don't, do you? Yeah, you're just the healer. Maybe... in this area? You? You're wandering. Why are you wandering around? An aging worn veteran. He walks ceaselessly through the fort of praises and supplies, soldiers, walls, and everything else. The long practice I extend callous hand toward you. Call me Tor. Are you wandering around? Keep an eye on every weapon, every bit of provender which passes through here. Supplies are my life. 
So you're in charge of managing all the supplies? He grins proudly. Yep. Farm for a while, but looking after goods is something I've always had a knack for. What was farming like? Tough work. Disease, salamanders, nephilim, more salamanders, just for a few mushrooms. Major pain. Sold the farm to the field hands and left it at that. So this is your calling, then. I do believe we met him in Avernum, too. Well, oh, not sure about it being a calling. You're too young to remember, but once I gave my supplies to him, we did meet him in Avernum 1. He was there to uh, hand out supplies. Every single person who entered Avernum, they teleported them down, and I gave them a knife and some food to uh, get them by until they found work. It was good work, and this is good work, too. Really appropriate, I mean. Appropriate in what way? Well, once I gave supplies to everyone who came down from the surface, now I take care of the goods for everyone coming up. Symmetry, you know. Makes sense to me. I like symmetry. It's important. Yes. Mage journal. Hmm. You are not the identifier. You are cells. So oblivious to the powerful torrents of energy crackling around her. Do you have some business with the portal? It's... Uh, what are you responsible for? Portal Overseer. Look after the steer those emerging. Also, when someone wants to use the portal, it is I must give their they must give their request to, and who gives permission? Is your job difficult? It's a tricky job. So many want to use the portal for so many reasons. Why do you find it tricky? The portal takes a lot of energy and can only send so many people in a day. Most of its energy goes to bringing up as many people as possible. Access for other purposes, most of which are generally deemed frivolous, is limited. So everyone who wishes to use the portal must request permission from me. What would you consider a frivolous request? Visiting friends and family, retrieving something you forgot, that sort of thing. Portal energy is just too limited to spend on non-vital things. Well, I don't want to use it for, uh... Buckets of water have been placed here for safety reasons. Apparently, the por if the portal explodes, destroying all of Upper Avernum, someone will first throw a gallon of water onto it. Well, that's good. But it's you. Ha! Portal technician. You need a technician in charge of operating the portal. It's an incredibly difficult and stressful job. He has and it has taken its toll. The moment you see... He sees you, he says, What are you doing up here? No adventurers up here. Get away! You'll destroy everything! But we... I don't want to hear it! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Guards rapidly escort you from the platform. Aww. I wasn't even on the platform. Mean people. Oh. Well, I'm gonna need some freaking lockpicks. Uh, identifier wanders around the northern part of Fort Emergence Courtyard. So, this area. Is it you? Julio. Small, heavily muscled man in dark skin with a quick eye. He wears all black. Right? It's an outlandish hat and a wicked sword. Bow sharply. I gladly greet you, explorers. I am Julio Traveler. What is your job? An explorer. I make maps, that sort of thing. What kind of maps have you made? Probably have one of my maps. I'm the one who mapped out these caves up here. I also made the only map we have of the area above. We haven't even been up there, but we have a map. But you're wondering how we did that. How can you get a map of a region you've never seen? Magic! A mage managed to give me a split-second magical view of the land above Fort Emergence from way, way up. From that, I made a map. Pretty amazing, huh? It's a remarkable feat. It's indeed, I drew a whole map from a tiny glance. Excellent work, if I do say so myself. I'm sure it's extremely accurate, too. Where have you explored? Traveled from one end of Avern to the other, looking for a route to the surface. I swore an oath, you see. What was your oath? A sacred one. I promised I'd never rest until I saw the light of day again. Good, honest sunlight. Looks as though we're finally... I'll finally get the chance, even if I sneak through Fort Emergence to do it. Why are you thinking of sneaking out? They aren't letting anyone out until they know it's safe. They say... Well, heck with that. I've been in prison down there long enough. If I die, fine. I can deal with that. But darn it, I'll die in the sun! I can understand that. So... Identifier is in here somewhere? Possibly? You? No, you're just a ge generic guard. I have all this crap. It needs to be identified. Oh.
Bad rat. Bad rat. Bad rat. And the stone dagger just hanging out. And a large unidentified shield. I have a lot of stuff that needs identification. There's water, and that's a Can we magic that door open? Yes. Small guarded area is probably being used to store crystals. It is! Nope, that door is more locked than I am capable of unlocking. I don't know about this mythical identifier, but I'm not seeing them. Let me just reset everyone's locations. Unless it's one of the frickin' cows. Uh, maybe it's actually at the other place. Maybe I'm being stupid. For Yeah, it's at the other place. God dang it. Oh well. We learned a little. We talked to some people. Someone probably sighed at me as they watched this video. I'm sorry. <laughs> Day 10. I gotta get out of here now. Northern part of the courtyard. You! You do it, don't you? No, you're the uh, person I handed the information to. And it's you! Guy in robe, where'd you go? Guy in robe, there you are. Aha! Identify all this crap. Ring of grief, triggered radiance, let's fear, my goodness. Crafted chainmail. And a cursed shield. What the heck does a radiant spear do? Uh, resistance to fire damage. And crafted chainmail? Plus one to dexterity. Take it. And that's poor chainmail. Ring of grief. Minus four to everything in the universe. And cursed shield. It's just bad. One through ten, or. Plus, minus two. I think I'll actually give Samson this because he's a natural mage, so he can wear this without being encumbered. And then I'll go to the trainer. Meow. I'm liked. Skill, skill. There you are, Samson the mage. Do that. Ta da. And now we're on our way. I think. Let's check. Uh... Hmm. Journal. Relevant information. Go to the surface, find that amulet, which I can't do because I don't have a good reason to go back down. So, we're off. Merge from Fort Emergence, mmm, fitting name, into the outdoors. A harsh yellow light from above bl blinds you. The air smells strange. For a while, the size and openness of the blue space above you is terrifying. Still, there's nothing to do but press on. I don't know. It's kind of scary. I might just go back inside. Ah, we gotta go forward. Hold your breath. You emerge from the emergence in the Fort Emergence in this hallway of emerging. And you emerge. Also, there's some emerging going on, just in case you hadn't caught that part. From 